Hey everyone. Uh, yes, I'm on my own bed tonight. Awesome. Um, I do have a little favour to ask of the local ladies, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, but yes, as you've seen, I spent a few days in hospital. Went in Wednesday lunchtime and came out Saturday late afternoon. Uh, since then, I've just been completely floored, like I just have no energy to do anything. And as such, my, well, my skin mostly, but my hair is also suffering. So uh, I have put in a mask for my hair because it's literally just about ball of frizz. I generally have curly hair, but like fairly defined curls. Now it is literally just like a mess. Uh, so also going to treat my skin to a brightening mask. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the ward I was in in the hospital, there was like one toilet for maybe tw 15, 20 people. So even getting to wash my face in peace and quiet was a luxury. So yeah, my skin has definitely suffered. So I'm going to spoil it slightly. Uh, also, please note, ensure to wash your hands thoroughly before touching your face. Please and thank you. Um, I don't know where all this stands with you guys, but you know, I'm in complete lockdown. I basically made my consultant on Saturday, made the decision that although I still was not well or fixed, uh, it would probably be safer for me to be at home and confined rather than in hospital where I am more likely to be in contact with ill people, which makes sense. Uh, so yes, I decided to leave. I probably should have been getting out tomorrow. So I left maybe four days early, uh, which I kind of regret because I feel absolutely awful. But on the other hand, I seen, you know, firsthand the pressure that the NHS are under. Um, I mean, I can't complain at all. The nurses were brilliant. The doctor I absolutely fell in love with, not because he was hot or anything like that. He was just so happy and jolly and actually seemed to care. You know, there's so many doctors that give you the impression that they're just passing through. Um, but he was really, really lovely. So like I said, me and him made the decision on Saturday that it would probably be better if I left. Um, I don't know, part of me wishes I was still in there. But here I am, just have to ride it out like everyone else. Now I'm still on a load of antibiotics, which are having horrible effects too. Like oral thrush, never had it in my life, ever. I actually, I felt like I burnt the whole inside of my mouth, you know, for a really hot cup of tea or coffee, which I've done plenty of times, like especially coffee, because who wants to wait for coffee to cool down? Um, I had no idea what it was, and it wasn't until I read the side effects in one of the leaflets you know come in the box so it was like ah that's what that is uh but it was exactly the same the first time i had heartburn whenever i was pregnant i swore i had throat cancer i was like what is this i have this horrible burning feeling in my throat like it can't be anything normal what is this and yeah that was my first ever experience of heartburn at 19 yeah 19 years of age so that was fun uh so yes there's lots of i'm sure i lifted out wipes and i can't find them um yeah, lots of not exciting things going on currently. Very scary time to be alive, but I hope you are all coping well. I will be bouncing on and off to keep you entertained. Um, at the minute, I don't think it's really sunk in at the minute. Well, for me anyway. Uh, but it's getting there. Like I said, plenty to occupy myself. It's just... As soon as so, as soon as you remove the ability to do anything, you automatically want to do it. Like I never leave my house, really, honestly. Like I maybe go out twice a week, once to do a bit of shopping and once to meet up with my banger boss babes for coffee. And that is the only time really I would leave the house. But as soon as I'm told I can't leave the house, all the frick I want to do is to go out to go out to these non or imaginary events that 
aren't happening with imaginary people that I don't know. That's just human nature, isn't it? As soon as you can't have or do something, it's like, yeah, that's all I want in the whole wide world. And it's so hard done by. But yeah, it'll be grand. Anyway, for any of the local ladies watching, I do have a favour to ask. Um, while I was in hospital um, the Thursday, my everything started to swell, like my face, my hands, my feet, everything. And I had taken off the two rings that I had on. Um, now, one of them was just a cheap ring I really don't care about at all. Um, and I was sort of putting them on and off periodically through the time I was in hospital. Uh, just to see whether or not my the swelling on my fingers have gone down. So I remember, I remember last seeing them on the Saturday afternoon after they decided I was going to be discharged. My bed was moved out to a corridor to make room for someone else, which is fine, no problem with that. And I remember seeing the two rings on the little table of the bed that you have. That's my last memory of them. Now, mother half, he has added in today that. Uh, because we were waiting quite a long time from the drugs to come up with the pharmacy, we went outside the ward and there's like a wee sort of row of five or six chairs and it's in between ward 17 and ward 18. So we were sitting out there and we we're just talking away. There was another patient there as well. And he says I had them in my hands that whole time. But at some point, that one of the nurses came out to remove my cannula, obviously, because I was being discharged. And he says he can't remember seeing them after that. So... I've obviously put them down somewhere, hopefully I've put them down somewhere and someone has found them and handed them in rather than I put them down somewhere and someone has found them and pocketed them which would absolutely break my heart. So anyway, the point of my uh, request, if you go to my profile, I posted a picture of the ring and a wee description of what had happened. If you wouldn't mind sharing it for me, if you are one of the local ladies, obviously if you're not in Northern Ireland, there's not much point. Um, I am going to contact, I've been given a few different contacts for the hospital, which I will be calling tomorrow. Uh, and I hope they will say, yes, it's here and we have it safe. But on the other hand, no, I don't know, I don't want to think about the alternative. Um, but if you could just give it a wee share and try and get, like I say, it was two rings. One means nothing to me and I don't care if I never see it again. The other one is, well, it's valuable and valuable, you know, it means a lot to me and it, was, it wasn't cheap. So I would really love it back. And it just sort of feels like at the minute. Just, every, just losing everything you know you seem to get to a certain age and you begin losing things rather than getting things you know I've technically lost my freedom uh lost my health which hadn't been great for years anyway so i'll not count that as a loss now i've lost my ring and it's just oh i've lost my ability to drive and for like a hardcore petrol head doesn't get any worse than that um and i would just really really love to undo one of the losses and get my wee ring back where it belongs so yes if you're in northern ireland hop over to my profile and it was only sorry it was about six o'clock tonight i posted so it won't be too far down um i just really hope some kind-hearted little soul has handed it in but we'll see see what happens i only hope for the best but anyway, uh, in regards to Unique, um, as I said, I posted about the free shipping, uh, which is a brilliant saving, especially if you just wanted to try an eyeliner at £12, then £5 shipping is really expensive. Uh, obviously, if you're making a bigger order, the £5, meh. So yeah, for the next few days, it's free delivery. Um, I'm not making any efforts to push sales or anything during this time. I know myself that people are petrified to spend money because no one knows what's going to happen uh, and if you're not really leaving the house what do you want to do with your makeup but I play with my makeup and I don't leave the house but that's irregardless never mind um like I say I'm not going to be pushing seals massively because I know what everyone's facing and I'm in exactly the same boat so We'll get through this together. On the other hand, I don't want to not tell you about awesome things that could save you money. So I will be posting any new products, special offers, and I'll be here if you have any questions or if there's any products you want to know more about. I'm still here. 
um, and I'll still hopefully be keeping you entertained with my little lives. Uh, hopefully tomorrow if my skin's in a bit better condition I get a nice funky, I'm thinking like a real rainbow eye look. Have you seen this uh, thing going around now? People are putting rainbows on their window. So I'm thinking this needs like a rainbow eye look just because I feel like it. Uh, so hopefully I'll save my skin's a wee bit better tomorrow. I will get to that. Um, but if not, I'll be here just to talk crap to you all. And yeah, you can let me know if there's anything you want to see. Any of our products, if I own them, I'll quite happily show you. Uh, but yeah, let's just, let's just stick together. Get through this all. Um, and honestly, see if you've had, I know a lot of people have had messages from me that maybe suggest uh, products or suggest they sign up to sell Unique. Like, just if you don't want to, or if you're not interested in the product, just say no, and then we'll move on. Because I think a lot of people are scared to say no, and then they just don't reply to the messages. And a lot of these people are people, you know, that I maybe consider friends. So I, I just want to put it out there, if it is, you know, if you've received a message from me regarding a product or an opportunity and you're not interested, I'll not be offended at all if you say no. I'd rather you said no and we could go back to chatting about whatever it was that got us chatting in the first place than you just leave the message unanswered and it ends a potential friendship. Uh, because, yeah, we're going to need all the friends we can get, I think, especially, like, cyber friends. Um... It's going to be quite an isolating time in the real world, especially, you know, if you live alone. So, yeah, I, I'm here all day, every day. And um, if you ever need to talk about anything, my inbox is always open. Just give me a poke or, you know, just be nice to each other. Look out for each other um, and I'll try and do the same. You know, I'm, I'm kind of limited because I can't leave. I know there's a lot of people who are running about getting stuff for people I would love to be able to do that but because I'm in like a higher risk group I can't but if there's anything I can do for you I absolutely 100% will um so yes I will let's see Ooh, almost ready to peel off the first time I did this it went really wrong I don't know why it didn't set like it just stayed moosh and then I'd like scrub off this half sticky moosh. But it seems to be, I don't know what the word is, setting. Setting, does the mask set? I don't know. So hopefully it will actually peel off this time like it's supposed to. Um, but I, I don't know what it is about being in hospital. It just dries your skin. It's like literally as soon as you walk in the door, it's like there's a big humidity vacuum that goes, I'll be taking all that, thank you. Like my hair, I went in with my hair perfectly normal. And literally came out for a ball. Um, yeah. Normally my hair just has to look at moisture and it goes kaping. But my skin dried out, I think, because there was so little moisture. But yet my hair went kapoof. Because there was a lot of moisture slash humidity. So I've no idea how that happened. Maybe there was no moisture from like here down. and I don't know. Uh, but I'm very much looking forward to getting back to normal, hopefully. Um, and it's quite nice having you know the time just to be like I always do it anyway but you know just to be able to sit here and look at all my makeup and think what shall I do today what shall I play with what look shall I create um, yeah, make the most of the time I think a lot of people are looking at it negatively I would take the opportunity to spend time with you know qu proper quality time you know, so often you don't realise how little you're actually doing with, you know, someone who's always there. You just assume they'll always be there and time just sort of drifts by. Whereas now I will have the opportunity to sit back, take a breath and just make the most of it. Tell people how, no, I'm not, not in a morbid way. I'm not saying tell people how you feel because we're all going to die. No, um, I just think this is a chance, you know, to change things going forward self-care i think really is what i'm aiming at you know whether it is patching things up with people or settling things within yourself it doesn't matter you know do something my target for when all this lockdown enough is, is over 
I want to groom my hair because I'm at that stage where it's like, oh, I want to cut it, but I do want it long. So groom my hair and I'm going to really take time to focus on my urology and get my skin into a better place. Now, obviously being in hospital made it a lot worse, but even before I went in, it wasn't fantastic. So now that I have literally all the time in the world, I'm going to really try and focus and um, that's two things I want to accomplish, two positive things. I think everyone can think of at least two things that this gives you the opportunity to do that you wouldn't have had otherwise. And I think that's a great way of looking at it. Uh, don't look at what it's taken from you, look at what it's giving to you. So like I say, for me, it's given me, it removes the decision of whether or not to cut my hair because my hairdresser's closed. Um, it allows me the time to follow my personalised geology routine and properly follow it because most of the time I just splash a bit of water and a bit of cleanser and that's me. I want to make an effort to properly follow it. Um, so yeah, I'm grateful for, yeah, I'm grateful for lockdown. That's how I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at what lockdown has given me rather than what lockdown has taken from me. And I hope you can all manage to find something positive to care. It is it's going to be a tough time ahead. It is. I'm not denying that at all. But how you look at it and the frame of mind you go into it, I think will make a huge difference. Um, I know for me personally, I almost, not that I can change actual situations, but you go into a situation looking at it one way and it almost predetermines your outcome. Um, whereas if you go in looking at it relatively positively, then again, it can predetermine the outcome, but in your favour. Um, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go into this thinking I'm going to achieve this. This is going to be awesome. Not awesome, but meh. just make the most of it, basically, would be my advice. This is ready to come off yet because, oh, I got it in my hair. That was not smart. And as you can see, I'm like, I'm... The, oh sorry Ugh, internet went off i am at precisely the moment i would normally have to be going to get my hair done but that's not a possibility so i have to live with some delightful roots but blue and brown go quite well together i think yeah anything goes with blue uh but anyway i'm gonna go and try and get this off my face because why do these not work on me what, what is wrong with my face? The brightening mask won't work on me. I've watched their phone and it's just like, whoop, pull it off. There you go. For me, it looks like I'm literally going to be scraping this off bit by bit. Why? Why won't you work on me mask? But anyway. Yes, so I'm going to go and try and sort out this mess of a mask. But I would leave you with the thought of, before you go to bed tonight, think of one positive thing that you can do or achieve or change that you couldn't do or achieve or change if not for this whole COVID-19 lockdown blah 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 and every single night if you can't think of something different if it was only one thing just think of that one thing every night and just try and keep calm and remember that you have no idea how strong you are until being strong is your only choice you can do it we'll all get through it it might not be pleasant, but we will get through it and we'll come out the other end as stronger individuals. So best wishes to you all. Take care of yourself and your families. I'll be around if any of you want to chat or whatever. Um, but other than that, that's me checking out for now. Night night everyone. <laughs>